Rumi's Wisdom for the Heart and Mind. Written and published by Audible Aria. Poetry holds a lot of wisdom and deep insights. It can help us connect with our true selves and the spiritual side of life. Through poetry, we can be reminded of our true identity and our origins. When we read poetry, we often find pieces of advice or truths about life that resonate with us on a deep level. It can be a way to explore our emotions, thoughts and experiences. Poetry can also offer a sense of peace and a connection to something greater than ourselves. It can help us remember the important things in life and where we come from, both in a literal and a spiritual sense. Rumi, whose full name is Jalal al-Din Muhammad Rumi, also known by several other names such as Jalal al-Din Muhammad Balki and Mevlana, was a poet whose wisdom runs deep. Born on September 30th, 1207, and passing away on December 17th, 1273, Rumi lived during the 13th century. He was a Persian poet, an Islamic scholar, a theologian, and a Sufi mystic. Rumi was originally from Greater Khorasan in Greater Iran. Rumi's influence is vast, reaching far beyond his homeland. For over seven centuries, people from different backgrounds, including Iranians, Tajiks, Turks, Greeks, Pashtuns, and other Central Asian Muslims, as well as Muslims from the Indian subcontinent, have cherished his spiritual teachings. In recent times, Rumi has also gained immense popularity in Western countries. His poems have been translated into many languages and adapted into various forms, making his work accessible to a global audience. Rumi is often described as the most popular and best-selling poet in the United States. Most of his writings are in Persian, but he occasionally used Turkish, Arabic and Greek in his poetry. One of his most famous works, the Masnavi, written in Konya, is considered one of the greatest poems in the Persian language. Through his poetry, Rumi offers profound wisdom that deeply touches the soul, reminding us of our spiritual essence and connecting us to a greater understanding of life. Rumi's works are still widely read today in their original language. His poetry is deeply influenced by various sources. But when you read it, you feel there's something special happening. It carries a deep wisdom that has been passed down through the centuries. Rumi once said, Silence is the language of God. All else is poor translation. This means that true understanding and inspiration come from within us when we are silent and listen. The inspiration you seek is already inside you. You just need to be quiet and pay attention. Remember, you are more courageous than you think, stronger than you appear, smarter than you realize, and more beautiful than you can imagine. Rumi also said, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. This means that true wisdom comes from changing yourself, not trying to change everything around you. When we become quieter, we can hear more. As you start to walk your own path in life, the way forward becomes clear. Your journey is unique to you. Others may accompany you, but no one can walk it for you. Rumi advises us to raise your words, not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. This means that gentle and kind words have more power than loud and harsh ones. Next, Rumi teaches us to see through the eyes of compassion Listen with ears of tolerance and speak with the language of love. By being compassionate, tolerant and loving in our interactions, we can connect deeply with others and the world around us. We often look for wonders outside, but they are actually inside us. Gratitude is like a delicious wine for our souls, so let's enjoy it fully. Practicing patience is important because it's the purest form of praise. True worship is having patience, as it's more valuable than any other form of worship. Patience is the key to finding relief from difficulties. Wisdom may make us feel unworthy, but love reminds us that we are worthy. My life moves between these two feelings. Being human is like being a guest house, where new feelings and thoughts arrive every day. Each morning brings something new. A joy, a sadness, a meanness, or a moment of awareness. We should welcome and entertain all these feelings, treating each one with respect. 
Even the dark thoughts, shame and malice should be met with a smile and invited in. Be thankful for every feeling that comes, as each one is a guide from beyond. If you seek a perfect friend, you will end up without any friends. You must endure heartache until your heart finally opens up. If you are looking for a perfect friend, you will not find any friends at all. No one is perfect, and everyone has their flaws. Expecting perfection will leave you alone and disappointed. Instead, try to accept people as they are. Real friendships are built on understanding and accepting each other's imperfections. You might have to go through some tough times and feel heartache, but this is part of opening up your heart. When you open your heart and accept people, you will find true friends. They might not be perfect, but they will be real. And real friends are the ones who make life beautiful and meaningful. If you try to be everywhere at once, you end up being nowhere. But if you are truly present in one place, you can be connected everywhere. If you spread yourself too thin, you can't fully enjoy or be effective in any one place. You might feel like you're doing a lot, but in reality, you won't accomplish much. On the other hand, if you focus on being truly present in one place, you can be connected everywhere. When you give your full attention to where you are and what you're doing, you create deeper connections and make a bigger impact. Being present means listening carefully, engaging fully, and appreciating the moment. This focus helps you build stronger relationships and achieve more meaningful results. So instead of trying to do everything at once, choose to be present in the moment. You'll find that this brings more balance, happiness and connection to your life. Understanding what to ignore is an important skill. It's important to know what not to focus on so you can concentrate on what truly matters. When you find yourself alone, remember that this is a special moment. Think of it as God giving you the chance to be alone with him. It's a time for deep reflection and connection. Your job isn't to go out searching for love. Instead, you need to look inside yourself and find all the obstacles you've put up against love. Once you remove these barriers, love will naturally flow into your life. Love isn't something that can be written on paper because paper can be erased. It's not something that can be carved into stone either because stone can be broken. True love goes beyond these physical forms. It's something deep and enduring that lives within us. True love is written on the heart and there it stays forever. Be genuine and true to yourself. Show the world who you really are and stay true to that image. I don't love my friends with my heart or my mind because the heart can stop beating and the mind can forget. Instead, I love them with my soul. The soul is eternal, it never stops or forgets. To be desirable, you need to be comfortable with the fact that you have different sides. The most complex truth is that we are both flesh and spirit. Inside each of us, there is light and darkness, good and bad, love and hate. To be honest with yourself and others, you need to accept all parts of who you are. A person who shows both their strengths and weaknesses isn't imperfect but whole. Life is about finding the right balance between holding on to some things and letting go of others. Just like a candle can light another candle without losing any of its own light, you can share your goodness and love with others without losing anything yourself. When you are kind and loving to others, you don't run out of kindness or love. In fact, spreading goodness can make you feel even better. Helping others being kind and showing love can create more happiness and positivity around you. Sharing your goodness doesn't mean you have less. It's like lighting another candle. It only makes the world brighter. So don't be afraid to share your kindness and love. You'll find that it makes your life and the lives of those around you much better. Don't worry about the past. Nobody knows exactly how the world started. Trying to understand every detail of the past can be confusing and frustrating. What's done is done and we can't change it. Don't be afraid of the future either. Everything changes and nothing stays the same forever. The future is unknown and worrying about it won't make it any clearer. Life is always changing, and we can't control everything that will happen. 
If you spend too much time thinking about the past or worrying about the future, you'll miss what's happening right now. The present moment is where life happens. If you focus on the present, you can enjoy life more and make the most of each day. Don't let yourself get consumed by pain. Remember that someday your pain will lead to healing. Pain is a part of life, but it doesn't last forever. Just like a wound that heals over time, emotional pain also fades. It might take a while, but healing will come. When you're in pain, try to focus on the hope that things will get better. Surround yourself with supportive people and take care of yourself. Engage in activities that bring you comfort and joy. Remember, pain is temporary, but healing is permanent. By not letting pain consume you, you give yourself the chance to heal and grow stronger. Trust that better days are ahead and that your pain will eventually lead to healing. Dear heart, never think you are superior to others. Listen to their troubles with kindness and understanding. If you want to find peace, avoid thinking negative thoughts. Don't spread rumors or teach things you don't understand. Don't feel lonely because the entire universe is within you. The mind tells us there is nothing beyond the physical world, but the heart knows there is more and has experienced it many times. Don't feel sad because God brings hope when you need it the most. Remember, the heaviest rain comes from the darkest clouds. When words fail, the heart speaks with many voices. Whatever happens, don't lose hope. Even if all doors seem closed, a hidden path will open up for you that no one else knows about. You might not see it now, but there are many wonderful places at the end of this path. Be grateful. It's easy to give thanks after getting what you want, but try to thank before you receive it. Silence can bring answers. Be thankful for your life and every little part of it. When you do this, your face will shine like the sun, bringing joy and peace to everyone who sees you. Every religion teaches love, but love itself has no religion. You were born with potential, goodness and trust. You came into this world with ideals and dreams. You were born to be great and to soar like you have wings. You are not meant to stay low and crawl, so don't. You have wings, so learn to use them and fly. Sometimes you might feel like staying safe and comfortable, but that means you're not using your full potential. Just like a bird is meant to fly, you are meant to reach for your dreams and goals. It can be scary to try new things and take risks, but that's how you learn to use your wings. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Take small steps towards your goals, and soon you'll find yourself soaring. Don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. Embrace your potential and let yourself fly. You'll discover new strengths and abilities, and your life will be much more fulfilling. So spread your wings and take flight. Last night I asked a wise person to tell me the secret of the world. He softly whispered, Be quiet. The secret can't be spoken. It is hidden in silence. Sorrow gets you ready for happiness. It clears out all the old things in your life, making room for new joy to come in. It takes away the old, withered parts of your heart so that new, healthy parts can grow. It removes the bad roots to make space for new, strong roots to develop. Whatever sorrow takes away from your heart, better things will replace them. If someone doesn't accept your love, it's best to move on. If someone doesn't appreciate your love, it's time to walk away. With time, hopefully, they will learn what true love really is. You don't live permanently on this earth. You're just passing through. While the mind sees limits, love knows the way beyond them. What you're looking for is also looking for you. I asked, what should I do with my eyes? God replied, keep them focused on your path. I asked, what should I do with my passion? God replied, keep it alive and burning. I asked, what should I do with my heart? God replied, tell me what you keep inside it. I said, pain and sorrow. God replied, stay with those feelings. The place where you are hurt is where the light can come in and heal you. In life, when you have a strong desire or goal, remember that it is also reaching out for you. 
Having a strong desire or goal gives you direction and motivation. It helps you focus your energy and efforts. When you work hard and stay committed, opportunities start to appear and things begin to fall into place. Imagine your goal as something alive, trying to connect with you as much as you are trying to reach it. This positive mindset can make you more confident and determined. When I was unsure about my direction and purpose, I asked God how to use my eyes. God told me to stay focused on my journey and not get distracted. When I felt my passion fading, I asked God what to do, and he told me to keep it alive and burning brightly. When I was overwhelmed with emotions, I asked God about my heart. He asked me to share what I was feeling inside. I told him I felt pain and sorrow. God advised me to stay with those feelings because they are important. He explained that the places where we feel the most pain are also where we can let in the healing light. This light helps us grow and become stronger. Many of the flaws you notice in other people, but it's actually a reflection of your own nature. To see the good in others, first, find the goodness within your own heart. If you prioritize money above all else, you'll end up being controlled by it for your entire life. If making money is the most important thing to you, it will dominate your thoughts and decisions. Money is important because it helps us buy things we need and want. However, if you focus only on money, you might miss out on other important parts of life, like relationships, hobbies and personal growth. When you let money control you, you might find yourself always stressed and never satisfied, no matter how much you have. True happiness comes from a balance of different aspects of life, not just wealth. Instead of letting money be your main focus, try to value experiences, people and activities that bring you joy and fulfilment. Work towards your goals, but remember to enjoy life along the way. By not prioritizing money above all else, you can live a more balanced and satisfying life. You'll find that there are many things more valuable than money, like love, friendship and personal happiness. When you focus only on seeing what you want to see, you become blind to everything else. If you only pay attention to what you want or believe, you miss out on other important things around you. Sometimes we have strong opinions or desires, and we ignore anything that doesn't fit our view. This can make us miss important information, experiences and opportunities. It's like wearing blinders that keep us from seeing the full picture. Being open-minded and willing to see different perspectives helps us learn and grow. It allows us to understand others better and make more informed decisions. When we see the world as it truly is, not just as we want it to be, we become wiser and more adaptable. Try to be curious and open to new ideas. Listen to others and consider different viewpoints. This way, you won't be blind to the richness and diversity of life. You'll see more, understand more and enjoy a fuller, more balanced life. When the world makes you feel defeated and brings you to your knees, remember that this is the perfect moment to pray. When the world makes you feel defeated and brings you to your knees, remember that this is the perfect moment to pray. Life can be very challenging and sometimes it can make you feel overwhelmed and hopeless. During these tough times when you feel like you can't go on, prayer can provide comfort and strength. Praying can help you find peace and clarity. It reminds you that you are not alone and that there is hope, even in the darkest moments. When you pray, you open your heart and mind to something greater than yourself. This can give you a sense of relief and help you regain your strength. It's a way to ask for help and guidance when you need it most. Be patient when you find yourself in darkness. The light of a new day is on its way. Love deeply and without reason because love is the most important thing in life. When you speak from the heart, your words will touch the hearts of others. To expand on this, think about how we often criticize others for traits we dislike in ourselves. It's like looking in a mirror and seeing our own faults. If you can learn to find and appreciate the sweetness and kindness in your own heart, you will start to see those qualities in everyone around you. On the other hand, if you chase after money above all else, 
It will control you, making your life revolve around buying and selling, losing your true self in the process. When we desire something too intensely, like when our eyes only want to see specific things, we lose the ability to see the whole picture and miss out on other important aspects of life. When life becomes overwhelming and forces you down, it's actually an opportunity to connect with a higher power or to find inner strength through prayer. Being in the dark times can be tough, but it's important to be patient because eventually a new day will come, bringing light and hope. Falling in love wholeheartedly, even if it seems foolish, is worth it because love is the essence of life. When you speak sincerely from your heart, your words will have the power to touch and connect with the hearts of others, making a genuine impact. Be a lamp or a lifeboat or a ladder. Help someone's soul heal. Walk out of your house like a shepherd. And don't think the garden loses its joy in winter. It's quiet, but the roots are wildly alive underground. True beauty is the beauty of the heart. You have no idea how hard I tried to find a gift for you. Nothing seemed right. What's the point of bringing gold to a gold mine or water to the ocean? Everything I thought of was like taking spices to the Orient. Giving you my heart and soul seemed pointless because you already have them. So I brought you a mirror. Look at yourself and remember me. When we love without expecting anything in return, without making calculations or deals, we are truly in a heavenly state. Do you know what you are? You are a precious letter from the divine. You are a mirror reflecting a noble face. The universe is not separate from you. Look inside yourself. Everything you desire, you already have within you. I always thought I was just myself, but I realized I'm also a part of you, and I didn't know it. Beyond the ideas of right and wrong, there is a vast field. I'll meet you there. To explain this more, think about a garden in winter. Even though it looks quiet and lifeless, the roots are still very much alive and active beneath the surface. This shows us that real beauty and life come from within, from the heart. True beauty isn't about appearances, it's about the kindness and love inside us. When I wanted to give you a gift, I realized that nothing material would be meaningful. Bringing gold to a gold mine or water to the ocean wouldn't add anything valuable. It felt like offering something unnecessary, like taking spices to a place already known for spices. Even giving my heart and soul didn't feel right because you already have them. So instead, I brought you a mirror. I want you to look at yourself and think of me seeing the connection we share, loving without expecting anything in return, without trying to calculate or negotiate, brings us to a state of pure bliss like being in heaven. Recognize that you are a beautiful message from the divine, a reflection of nobility and greatness. The universe isn't something outside of you, it's within you. Everything you long for is already a part of you. I used to think I was separate, just me, but I discovered that I am also you, and I didn't realize it before. There is a place beyond all judgments of right and wrong, a peaceful and open field. Let's meet there and connect on a deeper level. Be like a tree and let go of things that no longer serve you just as a tree lets its dead leaves fall. Consider how a tree naturally sheds its dead leaves. The tree doesn't hold on to what it no longer needs, and neither should we. Let go of past hurts, grudges, or anything that holds you back. Be like the sun, always showing kindness and forgiveness. The sun shines its light and warmth on everyone without discrimination. Aim to be like the sun, spreading grace and mercy to everyone around you, be like the night, gently hiding others' mistakes and imperfections. The night covers everything in darkness, offering a gentle way to hide faults and mistakes. Be like the night by being understanding and discreet about others' imperfections. Be like running water, always giving and generous. Running water flows freely, nourishing everything in its path. Strive to be generous and giving, like a river that never stops sharing its life-giving water. Be like death, letting go of anger and rage. Be like the earth, humble and modest. Death brings an end to all things, including anger and rage. Let go of these destructive emotions just as death brings a final end to life. 
The earth is solid and steady, yet it remains humble and modest. Be grounded and humble no matter your achievements. Show yourself honestly and be true to who you are. Always be true to yourself. Show the world who you really are and make sure your actions reflect your true self. Authenticity is about aligning your inner self with your outward appearance. I am the dust that dances in the sunlight. I am the glowing ball of the sun. I am the morning mist and the breath of the evening. I am the spark in the stone, the shimmer of gold in metal. I am the rose and the nightingale, lost in its sweet scent. I am the chain that connects all things, the circle of the stars, the scale of creation, the rise and fall of everything. I am everything that exists and everything that doesn't. I am the soul within all. To put it simply and explain further, think of the dust you see floating in the sunlight. I am like that dust, a small part of the light. I am also like the sun itself, shining brightly and giving life. In the early morning when there's mist in the air, I am that mist, soft and mysterious. As evening comes and you feel the cool breeze, I am that breath of fresh air. Imagine a stone that has a hidden spark inside it. I am that spark, the hidden potential within. When you see gold shining in a piece of metal, I am that gleam, the beauty within the ordinary. Picture a rose in full bloom and a nightingale singing, completely absorbed in its lovely scent. I am both the rose and the nightingale, immersed in the beauty of life. I am the connection that links all things together, like a chain that holds the universe. I am the circle of the stars in the sky, endlessly turning. I am the scale of creation, balancing everything. I am the rise and fall of life, the constant change that we all go through. I am everything that is real and everything that isn't. I am the essence, the soul that exists within every living thing. You reveal your true value by what you strive for in life. Consider someone who doesn't keep track of gains and losses, who isn't obsessed with becoming richer or scared of losing what they have, and who doesn't focus on their own ego. This person is truly free. When you experience a deep sense of peaceful joy, it means you are close to the truth. It's not about speaking the same language as someone else, but about sharing the same feelings and emotions. True understanding comes from this shared connection. To explain more, think about how our goals and desires show who we really are. If you're always chasing after money, success or recognition, it says a lot about your values. But if you seek wisdom, kindness or personal growth, that shows a different, deeper kind of worth. Imagine a person who doesn't keep score of what they have or what they've lost. They aren't constantly trying to get richer or worried about losing their possessions. This person doesn't have a strong attachment to their own image or personality. They live freely without the burdens of fear and ego. When you feel a serene and joyful peace, it means you're close to understanding the true nature of things. This kind of peace is a sign that you are aligned with truth. Now, communication isn't just about the words we use. It's more important to share the same feelings and emotions. You might speak different languages, but if you can understand each other's emotions, you truly connect. Real understanding happens when we share and recognize each other's feelings, not just our words. Our greatest strength comes from the gentleness and kindness in our hearts. Loving others is part of being human, and feeling pain is also part of being human. But continuing to love even when it hurts is something truly special and pure, like an angel. Sometimes we look for answers in the wrong places, like searching among the branches of a tree when what we seek can only be found in the roots. The happiest moments are when we sit together, each with our own body and face yet sharing one soul. You and I are together as one. To explain further, our true power isn't in being tough or strong, but in being gentle and kind-hearted. When we love, we open ourselves up to joy and also to pain. Both love and pain are natural parts of being human. The remarkable thing is when we keep loving even though we might get hurt. 
This ability to love despite the pain shows a purity and goodness that is almost angelic. Think about how we often look for solutions or happiness in the obvious places, like searching through the branches of a tree. However, sometimes what we really need can only be found deeper, at the roots. It's a reminder to look beyond the surface for what truly matters. The best moments are when we are together, enjoying each other's company. Even though we have two separate bodies and faces, we share the same spirit. This deep connection makes us feel like one soul, united and complete when we are together. Every leaf that grows will tell you what you sow will bear fruit. So if you have any sense, my friend, don't plant anything but love. What arrives will eventually leave, and what you find will be lost again. But who you truly are is beyond all coming and going, beyond any words. Don't be sad about what doesn't happen. Sometimes, things that don't happen actually save you from disaster. Be soulful, be kind, and be in love. One day, our souls will unite forever. I believe that everything I give to you will come back to me, so I give you my life hoping you'll return to me. Don't just sit and wait. Go out and experience life. Feel the warmth of the sun and immerse yourself in the sea. If someone asks, what is love? Tell them it's losing yourself in the moment. Yesterday is gone with all its troubles. Today is a new day and we have the chance to live a new story. Think about how everything in life is temporary. Things come into our lives and then they leave and what we find will eventually be lost. But your true self is something much deeper, something that doesn't change with time and can't be described with words. Don't feel sad when things don't go as planned. Sometimes, the things that don't happen prevent worse things from happening. It's life's way of protecting you. Live with soulfulness, be kind to others and stay in love with life. Someday, our souls will join together and that union will be eternal. I believe that whatever I give to you will eventually come back to me. This is why I give you my life, hoping that you will find your way back to me. Don't wait around for life to happen. Go out and experience everything it has to offer. Feel the sun on your skin, dive into the sea, and embrace all the moments life gives you. When someone asks you what love is, tell them it's about losing yourself in the experience, letting go of your own will, and just being in the moment. Yesterday is over, and it took its troubles with it. Today is a new opportunity, a chance to create a fresh, new story. Let's make the most of it and live fully. When you are going through a tough time, when it feels like everything is against you and you can't handle it anymore, don't give up. This difficult moment is often when things start to change for the better. Why are you so fascinated by the outside world when there is so much treasure inside you? A peaceful person doesn't worry about having more or less and isn't caught up in seeking recognition. Such a person is free from sadness, detached from the world and most importantly, free from being overly concerned with themselves. Talk less, learn timeless wisdom, move beyond your confusing thoughts and discover the beauty of paradise, this silence, this moment and every moment, if it truly comes from within you, will bring you what you need. There's no need to cling to any beliefs. I found true beauty only when I stopped believing in my own limited self. Sit quietly and listen for a voice that tells you to be even more silent. Embrace this silence completely. Being truly quiet is a sign that you have let go of your old, hectic life, which was always trying to escape from silence. Step away from your fears and anxious thoughts. Live in silence. Love is like a vast ocean where the mind gets overwhelmed. You might think that understanding one thing means you understand another because one and one make two. But you also need to understand the connection between things. I searched for God in a temple, but didn't find him there. Then I looked in a church and a mosque, but he wasn't there either. Finally, I looked within my own heart, and there he was. Don't ignore your heart, even when it's filled with pain. God's greatest treasures are often found in broken hearts. Do you take time to reflect on yourself regularly? If not, start now. 
You were born with great potential, goodness, trust, ideals, dreams and greatness. You were born with wings to fly, not to crawl on the ground. So use your wings and learn to fly. This is now. Now is all there is. Don't wait for then. Strike the spark, light the fire, lift the corners of your mouth. Trust that it is love that holds everything together, and it is everything also. To me, nothing in the world is as valuable as a genuine smile, especially from a child. It's one of the wonders of the world to see a person trapped in a prison when they hold the key to their freedom in their hand. All religions and all the songs they sing are essentially one song. The differences we see are just illusions and vanity. The sunlight may look a bit different on this wall than on that wall, and very different on another wall, but it is still the same light. I desire that powerful love that can move mountains. I want the love that parted the ocean. I yearn for the love that made the winds tremble. I seek the love that roared like thunder. I crave the love that can raise the dead. I long for the love that lifts us to heights of ecstasy. I want the love that embodies the silence of eternity. Hopefully, you can understand the profound light I discovered within these beautiful passages by the great poet Rumi. It's a joy to read his words and reflect on them. I hope you do the same, treating these beautiful ideas as meditations, allowing them to evoke something deep within you. When I hear this kind of poetry, especially in a calm, meditative state, it calls upon the infinite within me. I believe Rumi was incredibly wise and insightful. He speaks about the same things we've been discussing. The reflection of yourself is all around you. You are a small part of something greater, and there is a divine understanding within you. Rumi's beautiful poetry goes beyond all religions and captures something truly amazing. I hope these words touch you as deeply as they have touched me. I'd like to share my favourite message from him with you. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you'd ever imagined. Yesterday I thought I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. These lines highlight the importance of going within, finding silence, connecting with your true self and heart, and embracing the wisdom and power of love. They are truly wonderful and full of meaning. I send my love to you and share this beautiful message from a wonderful soul that we both appreciate. Thank you for listening.